Hi guys, today we're going to talk about breathing. Breathing is probably the most important thing we do as brass players. It's kind of like having a shiny car. It could be the most expensive car in the world. But unless you fill it with gas, it's basically not going to go anywhere. And it's kind of the same when, when we breathe, when we play our instrument. If you don't fill up uh, with enough air, you're not going to be able to make the required sound for when you play your instrument. Now every day we actually breathe naturally, um, but we just need to figure out how we use that breath when we play our horns. There are five basic things to remember when we breathe. Number one is to breathe in through your mouth and not your nose. And the reason for that is, if you look at the size of your mouth compared to your nostrils, there's a lot more space to take the air in there. That's why we use our mouths. So just practice breathing in through your mouth, first of all. Now try breathing through your nose. And you can see the difference. You get a lot more air through your mouth. Number two is try and keep your shoulders down. Often you see players, when they play a horn, they put their shoulders up when they breathe in like this. Just try that with me. And you can see when you, when you do that, you're pretty tense. And that's kind of the opposite of what we want when we play an instrument. I want you to try now just keeping your shoulders down nice and relaxed when we breathe in. So like this. Just try that with me now. So you can kind of see the difference between having your shoulders up and tense and just being relaxed. The third thing I like to think about when I breathe is to breathe in cold air and out warm air. So I like to feel the cold air entering the back of my throat. And then when I breathe out, I feel the warm air going through the instrument. So just try that with me now. Feel the cold air entering the back of your throat and then feel the warm air coming out. And put your hand in front of your mouth so that you can feel the warm air. So let's do that together. In cold, out warm. Can you feel how warm that was? Let's try it one more time and try and make the, the air even warmer. The fourth thing I like to imagine is that you're filling a bottle of milk up from the bottom up. So if you imagine the air going through your mouth all the way down to the bottom of your belly here, let's just try that together. What we want to avoid is breathing from up here. So just try an incorrect breath now. Just try breathing, imagining you're breathing just down to here. And you get a kind of shallow breath. So let's just try the correct breath again. So filling up that bottle of milk from the bottom up. Big breath together. And the fifth thing is, I like to think of the word home when I breathe in, so H-O-M-E. And what that does is it actually opens up um, our mouth to the right shape to allow as much air as we can to, to go through our mouth and down our throat. And it also forms your lips in the right position for when you play a note. So I want you to imagine and try that with me now, thinking of the word home as we breathe in and then forming our lips before we play. So let's try that together now. And one more time. And what you should get is a deep, relaxed breath, not a loud breath like this. That's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to get a nice, deep breath. So just do that one more time. Think of the word home. Now we're going to try some breathing exercises. And I want you to remember the things that we just talked about and uh, take a nice big breath when we breathe in as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to breathe in for four counts, hold it for four, and then out for four. When we do this, take a nice deep big breath. So I want you to try that with me now. Ready, in. The next one I want you to do is a little bit different. So I want you to breathe in for two 
hold it for two, and then out for six. So in for two, hold it for two, out for six. Ready, breathe. The next exercise we're going to do, we're going to breathe in for one count and then out for seven. And we're going to do this three times. Now for this one, because it's, you're breathing out for longer, you're going to need a, a lot more breath when you breathe in. So take a big breath with me now. I'm going to count for three, then breathe in for one and then out for seven. And we'll do it three times. One, two, three. The next one we're going to do is even harder now, so we're going to breathe in for one and then out for eleven. And you're going to need a lot of breath to do this again. What we don't want to do is die at the end of the note or at the end of the breath, so we want to keep it as steady as we can, so don't use too much of your air too soon. So this is going to be in for one, out for eleven, and we're going to do it twice. So here we go. After three, one, two, three. There we go. Now we're going to play a game and we're going to need a piece of paper for this and a wall. And the idea is that we blow the piece of paper up against the wall for as long as you can. Now the idea of the game is to imagine you're playing your instrument so you're going to need as much air as you can to be able to do this. And the trick is that we're not allowed to use our hands to, to stop the paper falling down. So this is how you do it. Now as you can see you're going to need a lot of air to be able to do that, just as you need when you play your horns. You're actually going to get the chance to do this now and I'm going to ask your teacher just to pause the video and you can each do it in turn. Maybe your teacher can time you as you do it and then we'll see who can do it for the longest. And then we'll see you afterwards. So just to finish off with here, um, breathing is probably the most important thing we do as brass players so we need to be thinking about our breathing even before we play our first note. I just want you to try and remember the five things that we talked about. So the first one was breathe in through your mouth, not your nose. Second is keep your shoulders down. Third thing is breathe in cold air and out warm air. The fourth thing is to remember your bottle of milk that you're breathing in from the bottom up. And the fifth thing is to think of the word home when we breathe in. And if we think of all those things, that's going to help give us a really good sound when we play. Thanks guys and we'll see you again next time.